conservative media propagandists once again found some reason to freak out about nothing. This time over Sam Smith's performance at the Grammys. So before I even get to some of this, I didn't watch the Grammys. I saw this performance only because it became a topic for some people. But ultimately, I kind of stopped caring about the Grammys once they snubbed the weekend a couple years ago for album of the year. But anyways, <laughs> the Grammys to me, not important anymore. But I do want to show you some of the reaction here because this is just so... Like, we're hearkening back to the freak out over Elvis Presley and his his dancing hips that uh, were too hot for television. That's That's the level that we are at right now with some of this trash. So let's start with Ben Shapiro. Saying the Grammys annual trolling of traditionally moral people continue to pace this year with a full-on satanic performance from two white men, Sam Smith and Kim Petras. So I'll be honest, look, I'm old. I had no idea who the hell this was. Uh, apparently she is a, a, a trans woman, performer, musician, artist. She ended up actually becoming the first Kim Petras, a transgender woman, won the Grammy for Best Pop Duo. The German pop singer who accepted the award with Sam Smith for Unholy announced that she was the first transgender woman to win a Grammy in the Best Pop Duo and Group Performance category. So there we go. Breaking some ground. Cool stuff. Ben Shapiro goes on <laughs> and on and on and on and on over this. Over post after post. In fact, he dedicated apparently his entire show today to this performance. Getting satanic at the Grammys. So I can't show you the full... I, I can't imagine I can show you the actual performance. Otherwise, the Grammys will copyright strike me. But I'll show you some you know screenshots from the performance. It's just Sam Smith with some devil horns with fire and red lights singing a song. <laughs> this is... What is the, what? How is this any different from music over the past 100 years? It is just completely bizarre. There's any freak out about this. And as I pointed to, Elvis Presley nearly got arrested for his suggestive dance moves. So I'm sure you all already know about this, but if you want to read about it, I link to all my sources below the video. There was a freak out, of course, over Elvis Presley. Not to mention, I'll get to some other examples later on in this in this video of other so-called satanic music, but more freakouts here. Matt Walsh of The Daily Wire, a, another clown, writes here, it's not surprising to see a satanic ritual at the Grammys. Sa Satanism is the worship of the self. Yes, because we all know conservatives are about the collective. They really want universal health care, properly funded public education, free college for all, <laughs> These are the issues that the right cares about. Satanism, or sorry, I read that already. Uh, much of modern pop music is satanic in the sense leftism is Satanism. The only change is that now they're being more explicit about it. There's really not much to even say here because I, if you're watching this video, I hope I don't have to explain how these people are fucking crazy. <laughs> you could just see this for yourself. This is me just show and tell. Showing you the ridiculousness and, you know, telling what I can here, but I think the, most of this speaks for itself. He goes on, this is the same post. There, oh no, it's a different post. More of the self. Theological Satanism is not very common, but the worship of the self, what we might call secular Satanism, is the predominant religion in our culture, and most of the art we produce is meant to preach this gospel. Which I'm not even, no, like, art is... A representation of that individual, their perspective in in relation to how they experience culture, life, the world, love, hate, like it's it's everything. I'm not even sure what <laughs> what the issue here is, but it, it, again, there, there's it's an attempt here to try and create a narrative out of nothing, and it honestly. Strategically for them, I don't know how this benefits them. Who is welcomed into this discussion with absurd reactions like this to just very normal things? Ted Cruz. We all know Senator Ted Cruz. This is evil. Trying to be very dramatic here with the dot, dot, dot. 
Charlie Kirk here. The Devil, brought to you by Pfizer. Charlie Kirk supports the Republican Party. The Republican Party blocked an insulin price cap for all patients. It ended up, Democrats were only able to pass it for seniors on, on Medicare. And even after that happened, Republicans attempted to uh, block that. Senator, this is from October. Senate Republicans Friday introduced a bill that would roll back the drug pricing reforms included in the sweeping Inflation Reduction Act, including the measures allowing Medicare to negotiate drug prices and capping annual drug expenses for many seniors. This, Republicans are the party of Big Pharma. Now, you can argue both parties don't do enough, and that is accurate. Democrats definitely did not do enough. But the idea that Republicans are... <laughs> are on the opposite end of that discussion trying to push back against big pharma and their control over the industry and the and price hikes and all that is completely insane. But again, th this is at least an attempt here, a, a dishonest attempt, of course, but an attempt here to try and, and fit this into a larger narrative about something else. Because I think Charlie Kirk is at least aware that complaining about Sam Smith's uh, performance on its own isn't all that um, beneficial for uh, the right to do. But Liz Wheeler here, another conservative, says, don't fight the culture wars, they say. Meanwhile, demons are teaching your kids to worship Satan. I could throw up. Okay, whatever. This is, this is the performance. Wow, there's some fire on stage. That's, that's never happened before. <laughs> no, no artist has ever had fire explode on stage or had red lighting or war devil horns. These are all unique things that have only happened this one time. Oh my God, Satan worship, or it's a performance from an artist. Here's some other, some other Satan, Satanic music here. The Rolling Stones, sympathy for the devil, you say? I don't know. Motley Crue, shout at the devil. Well, maybe they're angry with the devil, so that's actually, that's, that's against the devil. So Motley Crue, we're okay with Motley Crue. Uh, running with the devil. Van Halen. Sounds pretty satanic to me. Grateful Dead, friend of the devil. <laughs> ACDC, highway to hell. Oh my God. If Twitter existed and Ben Shapiro and Matt Walsh and these clowns existed back in the 70s, they would have lost their goddamn minds. <laughs> now we simply have Sam Smith and another artist dancing on stage with some red lighting and some fire. And that is apparently supposed to... Sorry, the song is called... I think the song is called Unholy. <laughs> really pushing the envelope there. This stuff is so absolutely ridiculous. But it's it's fun to point and laugh. Because there, these sorts of moments really give you a window into how unserious these individuals are on every topic. If they're going to be this ridiculous about a performance at the Grammys then how can you possibly take them seriously about anything else?